Hi, this is John at Sicilian Mammalian. I was just going to do an update on game design. Show you guys where I'm at. Have a little fun, show you my world map and stuff. Oh, I made a new character. I made a side character. I was thinking like a Torchlight 2 kind of thing, where they follow you the whole game and you can send the town and stuff. I made her a little witch. Well, because like, in Skyrim and stuff, most people want that vampire chick Selena or whatever, so I was like, give people what they want. I was gonna, you know, just give her size, give her own skill tree like Diablo 2, but like, have maybe like six, three between each character, they each end up, level up individually. I had added a bench sprite, gave her her own little sprite, and I also made a fence sprite. <laughs> they actually made the fence sprite first, and then I made the bench sprite by adding legs and see. And I actually added a lot of stuff. It's hard to remember what I've added. I cleaned up the uh, mountains and sky. I added a road. I filled in a lot of trees and bushes and stuff. I decided to do like a dungeon system. I'm gonna have like three to five dungeons. I kind of want to do five dungeons and make like a pentagram with like an alchemist circle thing in the middle. And then you get like the keys from each thing and some in the portal like Diablo, the Ubers in Diablo 2. But right now I only have three. I have like a mine, um, some river caverns, and oh, I built a graveyard too. And I made a gravestone. That's right. Well, that's kind of hard to find the grave on the map. Oh, no, never mind. I've made a road. Makes it easier. I wanted to make a bit map big enough to get lost. It's um, 9600 by 9600, which is about 10 RuneScape chunks. So about the size of Lumbridge to the edge of a rock. Big. Whatever you want to call it. I feel like the bench sprites really go good in the graveyard. I was thinking about fencing it all off and um, making a graveyard key or something. Have catacombs and a necromancer boss. So yeah, I just wanted to show everybody what I've done. It's actually pretty fun. Well, I can't wait to start loading the stuff with Unreal and Unity and stuff and making all the layers. I'm just drawing it right now. Give myself an idea of proportions and stuff. Well, because I'm thinking how I'm going to do all the layers of the grass and the terrain and stuff. So, because I was looking at... Oh, you can't see it. I, I need to open another window. But, looking at RuneScape's map and how they split up the textile with the land. And, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a... Pretty soon I'll start making the little animations for like fire sprites and stuff. And spell casting. I can't, well, one of the things I'm thinking about is Diablo 1. Uh, everyone had the same spell book, like Mana Shield. and Because I was playing the Diablo 1 HD mod, and that's what I didn't like about it, is they got rid of it. Mana Shield for everybody and everything else. Like, it's only for sorcerers. I didn't like that. That was one of my favorite staples of Diablo 1, is everyone having the same spell book. But then you'd have the choice of teaching it to your main character or your side character, so. Of course, there's going to be missions where you play as your side character as your main character and everything. I don't know. It's a lot of work game designing. Especially filling in all the trees and everything. That almost took a day in itself. And I'm not even near be done.
As you can see, it's about a quadrant. I guess I could split it into fours. But yeah, I'm gonna get off here before I talk to him. All right, see y'all.